On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you three wiring methods on how to wire a single pole switch to a light fixture. So stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. We are gonna be working with electricity today, friends, so make sure that before we're working with any electricity, you turn off the power off on your circuit breaker. And make sure that you use a voltage detector, just like what you see here, and make sure that you test the power or the cable to make sure that the power is off on these cables. This video is made for instructional, informational, and entertainment purposes only. And if you are uncomfortable with working with electricity, please hire a licensed electrician or a professional. Okay, friends? So just to put that out there, be careful and be safe working with electricity. So on this mock-up, you have a stud right here, and let's pretend that's the finished floor. So from the finished floor up, you're gonna measure up to four feet. Here in the US per the code, NEC code, we're gonna measure four feet center. The J-Box that we're gonna using today is a new construction J-Box like this. So for in the middle of that box, that's where you're gonna nail this down. I'm not gonna nail this down all the way. This is just for instructional purposes. For J-Boxes or electrical boxes like these, you can use different types. This one, you can place it on the stud just like that. This one, we call this new work because you install them on open um, studs. And then if you have drywall right here, you can use old work. You can locate old work anywhere on the drywall because it compresses um, between and sandwiches that drywall between this right here. And if you watch my past video, I use this J box right here. And this one pretty much has screws. This is also for old work. You can just cut a hole on your drywall and you can screw right there on the stud so each j box has um, a lot of information on the inside there's 9 9 14 8 12 and 7 10 so the right side numbers are your gauge the gauge size and the 9 8 and 7 on the left side those are the number of wires that can be inserted on in, and that can fit inside this box okay and if you're looking for the volume there it is at the top it's 18 cubic inches volume. Make sure it is UL certified. So you might ask, what kind of cable do we use for a light fixture? Well, we are gonna use a 14-2 cable, 14 gauge. Now a 14 gauge cable has to be running on a 15 amp circuit breaker. All right, so take note of that. But if you already have wiring that is running on a 20 amp, you are gonna use this a 12 2 cable you cannot use a 14 2 cable on a 20 amp it's just not going to work it's you're going to cause overheating again if you do have a 15 amp it's possible that you can use a 12 gauge just like this one okay but to be safe use a 14 2 on a 15 amp circuit breaker if you have any questions on this regarding what type of wiring you should use, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll be glad to answer that for you. Now next is we're gonna feed the main power through here. The main power could come from your circuit breaker or to another receptacle that's pretty much going in series up to this switch. So if you're asking for power, um, that's where it's pretty much gonna be. We're gonna feed the main power, which is this 14-2 wire through this stud. We're gonna drill a three quarter inch hole. We're gonna be using this three quarter spade bit. Okay, so we're gonna drill it right, right on the middle of this stud. So your hole is supposed to be an inch and five eighths away from the edge or centered of the stud. Anything that's closer to the edge, uh, less than one uh, inch and five eighths, you're gonna use a uh, wire shield. Lights, we use 14 to wire but you can use 12 2 you can always go up but in this case we're going to be using a 14 2 wire now the first method that we're going to use to wire the switch to this light fixture is what we call a middle of run single pole switch now this is where the power goes to the switch first and then it runs all the way to the light fixture we're going to feed our main power through the stud this is a 14 2 wire if you can't feed it through easy like that, you can use one of these tools right here. This is what we call fish tape. You can pretty much insert it through this stud. 
right? Again, this is just an example. Fire right here, feed it right there. Bend it. Again, take uh, electrical tape, wrap this around, and then you can fish that right through there. I'll leave it in the description down below where I got all the tools on this video. Check out the link down below. Feeding it right inside the J-Box. For me, I like to leave about six to eight inches. Take another wire and we're gonna run it through this stud up to this J-Box for the light. For this mock-up, I just put the light right here on the side so you can see the wiring. Again, when you're done, you're gonna put this on top of this, not here, okay? So this is just for instructional purposes. And then we're gonna feed it right through this electrical box. Again, we're gonna leave about eight inches. In your running cable, make sure you leave a sag or a slight curve. So this will prevent potential kinks, sharp bends, or overstretching of the wire. Run it to the light fixture. I'm just gonna apply some NM staples. All right, so when you're stapling, you don't wanna over staple it or hammer it in to kink the wire. You don't want that. You want a little bit of uh, play a little bit right there, not too tight that you're gonna damage the wire. This is the power source going through that stud. That's where our switch is going on to that inside that box. We have our 1422 wire with ground wire that is going to that ceiling box right there. All right, so now let's go and wire up the switch. Looking at our single pole switch, you can see it's just a single. It has an on and off, and it has two areas where we can put our hot wire in. And we also have a ground. What we're going to do is we're going to strip open these wires. Just be very, very careful. You don't cut the insulation off the wiring. So here's our cable power source and here's our cable that's going to go to the light fixture. Now on the light fixture, if you're looking right at the back, you see this little tiny groove right here. Let's see if I can, we can zoom in. That's uh, about five eighths. You can use that. You can pretty much put that against and use that as a gauger. So that's how much you're gonna strip out. All right, so that's just good reference. So now that we got everything stripped, the only thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna loop the hot wires, which are the black wires. Okay, so those are the only ones that we're gonna end up looping. Now the white wires, we are gonna use our Wago connectors. Again, I love using these Wago connectors because they're so easy. They're just levers and you just insert the wire through just like that and pretty much close it up. And then you can insert as many and you can reuse these things. So again, all the tools and these Wago wires as well, I'll leave it all in the description down below. Go check those out. So we're gonna take our white wires and we're gonna connect them. Just like that. With our single pole switch, make sure that the wording is on the upright position off and on position we are going to hook this black wire to the top terminal so this is the power source going to the top and to hook it up so that the hook will go in the, towards the clockwise position so once we hook it up there see how the hook is going towards the clockwise position and make sure that you tighten this real well Okay, we're gonna take our hook and then go to the clockwise position, just like that. I'm gonna strip off just a six inch piece wire from one of your cables. Make a loop and we're gonna feed it to the ground wire. I'm gonna feed all the ground wires into this Wago wire connector. So again, let's go over this. We have the top hot wire this is coming from the power source this is the bottom black wire this is going towards the light fixture we have a pigtail from the switch going to all of the ground wires and all of the neutral wires are all connected together now that you have all that in we're gonna stuff all this wiring inside the j box Now that we got our switch all hooked up, we are now gonna go towards the light fixture. So 
So I'm gonna use my two lever, my two lever Wago. Connect the white, all the whites together. So for this one, I like to twist it out a little bit to make this a little firm and then insert it to the wire terminal. Connect the ground and then we're going to connect the hot together. Boom. So you don't want exposed wiring coming out of the connectors, all right? Okay, so now that everything is connected, let's switch it on. There you have it. It's a simple switch. And that is method number one, which is the middle of run single pole switch. So now that we discussed the first method, which is the middle of run single pole switch, where the power is running to the switch first to the light fixture. The second method is what we call the end of run single pole switch, which means that the power now is going to go straight to the light fixture first and then it ends to the switch. So with that being said, let me reroute the power going here. The second method is going to be wired two ways. That's why it's going to be three methods that I'm going to be showing you. The first method which I just showed you and now I'm going to be showing you this method which is going to be wired in two ways. Okay, so I'm making it a total of three. Let's get to it. Now this is the second method which is what we call the end of run single pole switch. I relocate the power used to be on that side. I relocated the power line going through here. So you see the power source and we are still using a 14 2 2 wire with ground wire. Now let's wire this power source to this light fixture. So first we're going to take our neutral wire which is the white wire coming out from the power source and we're going to attach it to the white neutral wire going to the light fixture. Take the ground wire from the light fixture. We're going to take the ground wire from the power source. This is the cable that is going to run to the switch. So we're going to take this ground wire and attach that as well. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to take our black wire, the hot wire that is going to the switch, and we're going to attach that black wire to the light fixture. Okay, so again, feel free to pause or go back to this video if you are getting confused. Again, I'm going to recap. I might sound like I'm repeating myself, but I want to make it so clear to you, friends. What we did for pretty much, we took all the ground wires and we hooked them up all together into this connector. So the, all three of them are in this one connector. Now we have our neutral wire, which is from a neutral wire coming from the light fixture and a neutral wire coming from the power source. Now we took our black wire, which is the hot wire from the light fixture and connected that to the hot wire from going to the light switch. So that's connected, which leaves us with the white wire going to the switch and a black wire from the, our power source cable, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this white wire with this power source hot wire. So what we're going to do so we don't confuse ourselves and whoever works at this in the future, we are going to take our black electrical tape, just like what you see here, and we are going to wrap this white wire with black electrical tape to indicate that this wire is going to be a hot wire. So now we took our black tape and we wrapped it around this neutral wire, indicating that this wire is now hot because it is, because it is now connected to the hot wire from the power source. Now we're going to join these together with a wire connector. Okay, so there you have it. I made it really clear and I'm going to try to separate it for your friends. So if you want to pause the video, you can do so. You put a label right here, the power source. And this is the wiring first off. So I want to divide this into sections before going to the light switch so you do not get confused. Feel free to pause it so you can check to see your wiring as what you see right here. Now that we have the power source look hooked up to the light fixture, we are now going to go and wire that light switch. So as you can see, there's only going to be one cable that is going through this J box, which is for the light switch. Now as what we did with the neutral wire onto the light fixture, we're going to wrap this with the same thing, the white wire. So it's, we indicate that this is going to be the hot wire, 
we are going to be late, uh, wrapping this with black electrical tape to indicate now that this is a hot wire. So whoever's going to be working this in the future will know that this is going to be hot. We're going to do a loop. The same thing, do a loop onto the hot wire and we're going to loop the ground wire as well. Take our hook. Now it's all about hooking everything on. Okay. We're going to take our hot wire slash neutral wire that is covered with black tape and put it onto the bottom. We're going to go do a recap again. We have our power source. We have our 1422 wire with ground wire. This wire power source is going to the light fixture. This is powering it first. We have our neutral wire from the power source with the light fixture together. We have the ground, um, all the grounds connected together. We have our light fixture hot wire and we have our switch hot wire connected together. We have our power source hot wire connected to the neutral wire of the light switch that we labeled with a uh, black electrical tape to make sure that that is now hot and now we ran that cable to the light switch now we have the bottom as the neutral wire marked with black tape around hot wire at the top and grounded now with that being said now we can control this light fixture with this light switch just like that this is what we call now the end of run single pole switch method all right now that we have this done i'm going to show you now the third method which is still going to be the end of run single pole switch method but this time instead of using a 14-2 two wire with ground we are going to use a 14-3 three wire with ground the difference on this one is that we instead of a 14-2 we are using a 14-3 three wire with ground, meaning that this wire is going to be having the red wire. Okay, so now instead of labeling the white wire with the black tape, we are now have a, a hot wire, which is we're going to use with the red wire. Okay, so let's hook up first the power to the light uh, fixture. And so we're going to take our neutral wire from the light fixture and our neutral wire from the power source and we're going to combine those together. We're going to take our ground wire from our switch cable, ground wire from the light fixture, and the ground wire from our power source and we're going to combine all those three just like what we did with method two. Perfect. So so now we're going to take our black wire coming from our switch and we're going to take our black wire from our power source and we're going to combine those two. So now we're going to take our neutral wire from our light switch and combine it now with all the whites as well. So pardon me on that one. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to replace it now with a three way together. Just like that. Okay which leaves us now with the black wire from our light fixture and the red wire from our switch. Let's connect those two. Now feel free to pause this. Let me just go over once again, again, this might seem repetitive, but I just want to get to show you guys how this all works. The power source black wire, the black wire from our switch is connected. All the ground is connected together on the power source, the light fixture, and our switch. Our white wire all connected together from our power source, switch, light fixture. And now we have our hot wire from our light fixture. And the red switch is now connected together. Now let's get to the switch.
we're going to loop our red and we're going to loop our hot just like so neutral we're going to leave that out of the picture so we're going to take our red and we're going to hook it to the top hot put it on the bottom And then we're going to take our ground wire and that's it. For the neutral, the neutral is going to be inactive. We are just going to put a connector there and that's just going to be shoved in there and it's going to be left open. Okay, so I'm not going to shove this in the box. You already know what to do on that. I'm going to leave this open so I can show you all the wiring and how this all works. So let me do a quick recap once again. We have our power source. This is a 14-2 two wire with ground going to the light fixture. To the light fixture we have the all the neutral wires connected. Light fixture, switch, power source, neutral connected. All the ground together. Power source 14-2 two wire with ground. The hot wire connected to the light switch cable and then we have our switch red and the hot wire from the light fixture connected together running to a 143 three wire with ground wire going to the J box to the light switch which is going to be the red wire connected at the top hot wire black wire connected to the bottom ground connected to the other side and we're going to leave our neutral neutral wire open and we're all going to shove that into the J box and we are complete. And that friends is how you do end of run single pole switch using a 14-3 three wire with ground and a 14-2 two wire with ground wire. Okay friends so I hope you found this video helpful friends and if you have any questions on how to do any of these methods feel free to comment down below and ask me these questions. They are very simple. And again, friends, turn off the power from your power breaker before you use any of these. If you follow these tips, you won't go wrong. And again, if you are uncomfortable, please hire a professional and a certified electrician. Again, friends, if you found this video helpful, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe and notification bell, and I'll see you, friends, on the next video. And I appreciate you guys tuning into this electrical series that I'm doing on these episodes. And let me know in the comment section below what you, video you want me to cover on the next episodes to come. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.